Hey what's up guys welcome to another exciting design tutorial with your xmate today we are going to uh, basically insert dynamic data in figma using a plugin from google sheet right into the figma text layers and that is going to be very really quick easy and simple way uh, to basically import data from sheets uh, i'm taking very simple example where we have let's say multiple cards where you know we want to dynamically fetch the username and uh, probably email id here okay email at domain.com and uh, first we'll prepare the card where which will you know uh, get the data easily but before that we need to prepare the sheet uh, which has the data the which you know actually uh, contains the data so i'll quickly go to the google sheets uh, i'll uh, start with a blank sheet where i'll let's say name and i need email okay and i'll quickly add couple of names Thing. you know maths underscore jan at the rate domain that really doesn't matter what <laughs> we have just a random data you can populate this data from internet anywhere i'll now share this sheet so make sure you know uh, you share the sheet and uh, remember the headers which we have given name and email so first i'll share the sheet and uh, it will say anyone with the link okay now i can uh, you know copy the link I'll just close this name and email. These are the you know uh, title which uh, we need to make sure you know uh, we are using the same titles in Figma as well. So let's head back to the Figma and uh, now we need to prepare this card to receive the data from the sheet. Now first uh, I'll just you know rename the text layers. Uh, so we have name and then we have email. But you know uh, you need to make one thing. So while renaming that, make sure you add hash. Uh, just you know before the name so which uh, basically tells the plugin that okay hashtag and then wherever we have name uh, or email uh, basically the plugin will read through all the layers and detect the name of the text layer and based on the name of the text layer it will automatically add that data to that particular text layer okay so i'll quickly create a couple of copies of this and that really doesn't matter if you have copies across the multiple frames or you know nested in a single frame so i'll just quickly duplicate this and i'll just add it into one frame just to showcase you you know this works in uh, both of the ways uh, maybe just have it maybe some sort of uh, lighter color uh, lighter gray okay now we need to uh, run the plugin so i'll just quickly go to command p and run the uh, Google Sheets link this plugin. I'll put the link in the description uh, for this plugin. So uh, you remember we had copied that link, so we just have to paste that link here. And now it asks, where do you want to, you know, basically update? Update current page only. Update entire document. So I want to update in the uh, current page only. Uh, anyways, I don't have multiple pages, and I'll say update in the current page only, and, and then I'll say fetch and sync. So this will now uh, fetch the data. Go to the Google Sheet, and you know. Uh, based on the data which we have added there, John Doe, Jenny Doe, Sam Matthews, and uh, for all of them, it has added the email address as well, and it has updated to the individual cards as well as the cards within a single frame. So doesn't matter if you know uh, you have uh, this dynamic data on a single uh, sh uh, single screen or single frame or across the multiple frames, it will work as expected, and it will update all the text layers everywhere in the document on the current page into multiple pages uh, i hope you loved this very cool trick and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon because that will keep you posted with all our awesome uploads in future and don't forget to hit that like button because that will keep us motivated uh, in creating such an amazing content for you last but not least uh, there are no comments on videos i don't think uh, that is intentional but yes uh, even if you like you didn't like uh, if you have any feedback don't hesitate to write them in the comments it will let me know uh, you know what you guys are expecting and if you have any challenges if you face uh, if you need tutorials on specific topics you can definitely request them in the comments we are always there to help you uh, yeah that's it till the next video keep watching keep learning keep designing